that the type of experienced team that's been to a tournament before that's just won't, won't die on the road despite, you know, their, their struggles? I mean, I got to look at the video. I thought we got great shots, so I'm not – they beat us. You know, they shot it in more than we did, but I'm not overly concerned with, with that piece of it. I think we got the shots we wanted, and we had a stretch where we were one for 17 after we took that nine-point lead. I mean, that's not going to happen to us very often, but – some of the new guys are learning that you play Thursday, Saturday, and it gets into your legs a little bit, and you can't prepare them for that by talking about it. They have to go through it, so we'll get better. Was it frustrating with the two missed front end, the one and one, the two missed layups? I mean, that's just the difference in the game, wasn't it? Because you did everything else well to win this game. Yeah, we put ourselves in position to win, and they made more plays than we did. So, I mean, they went to the NCAA tournament last year, so we had a test where we played the conference regular season champion and the tournament champion, and Won the first one, had an opportunity to win today, and we have to improve. You know, again, it's January, what, January 4th. We need to be better in February and March, and we will. We'll keep getting better. I like this group. I like what they're all about, and we lost the game. We have to improve. We have a week to get better, and we'll get back to work. Coach, 10 guys, I think it was in the first 10 minutes uh, in the game. Was that part of the game plan going in, or was that just you adjusting in the situation? Well, whole Lysias was out with his, his shoulder was – couldn't go. He tried to go. His shoulder was bothering him. He got hurt last game. So just trying to figure out lineups without him out there. Used to have him behind our defense and not having him there kind of made us adjust a little bit on the fly. Um, and obviously you can see how much better we are defensively when he's on the floor than when he's not. I thought they kind of they had 42 points in the paint and that's not happening when he's out there. But next man up, you got to find a way. And their, their big guys were, they pounded us inside, I thought. And they shot a lot of layups, which doesn't happen when he was on the floor. So we're kind of a different team defensively without him out there. So I was just trying to find a, a group that would work. So speaking of next man up, did you like Stokes in that role or are we going to see kind of a little bit more rotation for Philadelphia Hall? Just trying to figure it out. We, I mean, it, this is the first time we played without Hall this year. So, I mean, I, I thought we were going to have him. He tried to go. He was struggling. So I'm more worried about him long term than I have him on January 4th. Could he have played through it? Probably. Did he want to play through it? Yes. Am I going to put him at risk this time of year? Absolutely not. So guys had opportunities, and they'll be better down the line because of it. Just one game next weekend. How do you make sure the legs stay fresh for these you know, Thursday, Saturday games that are eventually around the corner? Right now, I'm worried about getting better this week and being ready to play on Saturday. And I, I mean, I, I don't get caught up in fresh legs. Guys are 18 years old. My legs were really fresh when I was 18 and 19 and 20. So I don't believe in that. Again, it is something, I guess, I mean, I played in this league, so I did it. Um, I, I don't get caught up in that. When you're 20 years old, you should be able to play five times a day, every day. That's what you do growing up. You play seven AU games a day. So I don't really believe in it. But I guess it's something that people talk about, so I guess it is something that we have to concern ourselves with. Me as a coach, don't believe in it. I think the lights go on and you play. Basketball players play. When the lights go on and it's game time, you're ready. Let me rephrase. Our practice is maybe going to be more game speed-like with only one game in the next 13 days just to kind of keep those lights in game shape? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we have to get better. That The bottom line is for us, regardless win, lose, draw today, we have a week to improve. And very rarely during the season do you get that much time off. So for us, it's going to be a week. We have to figure out some of our deficiencies and figure out what we have to improve on. And then we have a week to do that. So I think it's a good time for us to get tomorrow, get some treatments, get ourselves healthy, and then we'll have five days to improve. Does it matter that five of the first seven league games are at home? while you're trying to figure out the other opponents? And nah, home, road, I don't get caught up in that either. I just, once the lights go on, you play 40 minutes, the best team will win. Be good enough to win at home, be good enough to win on the road. And as long as you keep improving, then your team peaks late in the year, and that's kind of what our job is, to keep getting better. You give credit to a kid like Jenkins, starts 0 for 7, makes those two big three-pointers. I mean, that's an all-conference kid kind of working his way out of a bad situation there, it looked like. Yeah, I mean, he's a good player. That's what you expect a guy like that to, yeah. to do. And they made huge plays in the NCAA tournament last year. He's probably the reason they won went to the NCAA tournament and won a game in the NCAA tournament. Terrific player, and he stepped up and made shots when he had to.